Hi everyone and welcome back. It's that time of year where a lot of you might be heading off to university soon and it's a super exciting but also kind of scary time. A lot of changes going on so I thought I'd give you my five top tips to hopefully set your nerves a bit so you can just look forward to starting university. So the first thing I just want to let you know is that nobody knows what they're doing. Don't panic that you've just moved to a new place and you don't know anybody because everyone's in that same situation as well and everybody wants to make new friends and meet new people and want help with things so don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to go up to people and introduce yourself because they'll be grateful that you've done that in the first place. Um, also when you first move into your flat it can be quite intimidating because you know you're living with these people for the next year and you might feel like you have to make best friends with them instantly. I am quite shy and I find it hard to open up to people um, straight off so it can be quite intimidating but just introduce yourself and then you'll probably find over the coming weeks you get to know them better. Try and be as sociable as you can in that first week or so, um, especially if you're feeling a bit homesick it can be quite easy just to kind of shut yourself away in your room but definitely try and chat to as many people as possible because then there's more chance for making friends and stuff but you can also make good friends outside of your flat. Um, I met really good friends through societies and also through my uh, course, like through lectures and seminars and stuff, so don't feel like you're limited to just the people you're living with. They are good people to start off with, but there are friends beyond that, they're not just limited to that small uh, halls of accommodation that you're in. My second thing would be to make the most of Freshers' Week. I would definitely recommend coming down for that week and not just starting straight off into university with your lectures and seminars. Because this is a really good chance to not only set yourself into kind of university life and your new room, but also a chance to meet people and to try out lots of new societies. There's a lot of hype about the nightlife and the drinking side of Freshers' Week, and that is fun. I did have a few good nights out, but I've definitely had better nights out since. And I also found the best thing about Freshers' Week was getting to try out loads of new societies. What we had at Exeter was, was a big booklet we got um, when we moved in, which had lots of um, events posted in it and meeting greet sessions, but you might have stuff online to find. I don't know how they do it at your university. So I just circled a few things I wanted to do and I headed off to those and met loads of people through doing that that were into the same things as me. Because I had different interests to the people that were in my halls. Um, I went by myself to quite a few things and other people did that too so don't be afraid to go to taster sessions and meet and greet things by yourself because there will always be someone there you can chat to and you won't be alone at all. My third thing would be to take the time to familiarise yourself. Um, because you're moving to a new place you might not know where anything is. Exeter was a campus university so everything was quite close together and fairly easy to find. But if your stuff is spread out across the city then you might take a bit longer to work out how long it's going to take you to get to your lecture from where you live, um, whereabouts your seminar room is within a building. So maybe just take a bit of time um, either in Freshers Week to go and explore and see where everything is or just allow some extra time before your first classes to get everywhere so that you're not panicking like oh my goodness I've got five minutes before it starts and I have no idea where it is so just be a bit prepared and take a bit of time to work out where everything is and equally if you are going out um, for a night out to the clubs or to the um, bars and pubs in town then make sure you know how to get there and also how to get back uh, definitely find a buddy, either someone from Halls um, or someone else that you've met along the way that you can go together and then you can also help each other to get back because when you're in a strange place um, it can be a lot more difficult to find your way back in the dark when you haven't walked that way and all that kind of stuff so definitely familiarise yourself with the area that you're in. The fourth thing I would suggest is to try and find a kind of study buddy of sorts. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you um, do all your work with together but I just find someone in your lecture or your seminar or something that's doing the same um, modules and stuff as you that you either exchange numbers or you add them on Facebook so that if you ever have any questions about what reading you're supposed to be doing or what questions you had to answer before the next um, session that you can just get in touch with them and quickly ask them and they can respond back to you as well that's super useful to have and just throughout the year that someone else is doing the same things as you that can kind of bounce ideas off and ask questions to so that can just help you put your mind at ease um, by going to like having someone also that you can go to lectures with and sit with or also in your seminars that can just make things a bit easier Okay, and then my last tip is to do with packing and what to take to uni. I definitely recommend taking lots of photos and stuff to decorate your room so it feels more like home. You'll probably have like a big notice board up um, on one of your walls, so take lots of photos and posters and stuff to put up on there. It's also really good to have maybe like your bed sheets and your duvet from home, just something to brighten up your room because it can kind of look a bit um, sad and empty when you first get in there, just kind of this like shallower room. So you're just trying to make it your own by putting all of your own stuff in there. 
Also, I'd definitely recommend taking quite a range of clothing. Um, I wasn't really sure I'd be getting up to at uni, and so I was a little bit limited by kind of the shoes and like coats and stuff I brought, especially if you're not going to have the chance to like come home that often. Um, and obviously, if you're setting off in September, October, the weather will change. Uh, to December so kind of take a few coats and stuff to choose between. Also a good idea to take some sports kit and stuff. I didn't think I'd be doing that much sport but I ended up needing quite a lot of things because I joined some fitness classes and some other societies that needed that. So definitely take a range of stuff with you. Um, and scarily three years ago now um, I did a university haul so if you want to check out that and what stuff I brought then I'll link that below and I've also done some university packing guides so I'll link those in the description box as well. The other more boring thing to remember is obviously all your documentation, so any letters from student finance and your confirmation letter from your university, stuff like that, and also um, some of your own identification, so like your driving licence, passport, that kind of stuff, because you'll probably need that too. So that's everything for this video, I hope this has made you feel slightly more at ease. Um, I've done some other university related videos so I'll link all of those in the description box below. Um, of course if you have any other questions then feel free to ask them away and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you're having a lovely day, good luck with everything at university, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time, I certainly did. And I'll see you again with another video very soon, bye!